All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Card Talk. I'm Ryan, joined as always by Tyler and Lou. We're going to start today's episode talking about Dallas again, just finishing up our conversation from that. We were uh, had some things we wanted to finish talking about after the bonus episode this week. So, Ty, Lou, just wanted to get your guys' take again. Um, now that you've, you're, you're home, we're a couple days removed from the show, what are your what what do you what's on your mind? Hello. Um, I think when, <clears throat> when I think about those shows and I, like reading my DMs coming home and talking to people on text and Instagram afterwards, it was like you know, what it, it really uh, drove home what I was thinking about while I was there, which is what happens at that show becomes the hottest thing. Um. Coming out of there, people were asking me about KD. They were asking me about baseball. Um, I believe I got a couple questions about soccer as well. And I was like, hi, I couldn't know any less if you gave me a million dollars. So, uh, but yeah, it, it was just funny when I was thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, literally whatever happens at the show is exactly what's going to happen next. Um, and it kind of motivated me to think ahead to, to May a little bit and what's going to go down there. Okay. Yeah, I um I was tired. <laughs> I was really tired. Yeah. I exactly. was really exhausted. I think also the lost hour might have like really thrown us for a loop, but I was I was feeling it. I, I had said that I had wished we I'd stayed till Sunday night. You or I went the other way and said Saturday night exit might be a play to get the day back on Sunday. Um it it's a thought. Like get in early Friday morning. Friday didn't really start buzzing till around one, two, maybe. Mm-hmm. I think the show opens at two. Mm-hmm. I we I think we left early. When I look back on things, I was a little perturbed at the exit strategy on Friday. I thought Friday juice was still buzzing. I would stay in that room. I think it's open till about eight thirty or nine. Saturday closed around six thirty. So I think actually you got to extend your Friday, go hard, and then Saturday hit the morning. And I like I, I like your strategy there. I could see a fri- early morning Friday fly in, late Saturday exit. Um, yeah, get, yeah. Get a little color on your thoughts there. Yeah, it's just again, I own a shop, right? Like we just have so much going on. So to like to leave Thursday midday to travel, get in Thursday night where there's no. I mean, you can do the dealer night, but. I would just prefer to just be with all of the dealers when the show starts on Friday, I think just from a personal perspective. So it's like, again, you lose half of Thursday. And then if you fly back, I think our flight Sunday was at like two. So, you know, there's not a lot I haven't seen Sunday morning come 10 o'clock or nine o'clock when the show opens. And then you got to leave for the airport about 12 o'clock. So it's just like, and then the flight's at two and then you don't get home till six, six 30, six 45, seven, whatever. Um, so just, yeah, I just felt like I lost, you know, a day and a half of time, two days that I was like, Hey, first flight in on Friday, last flight out on Saturday, I could still accomplish all that I wanted. Um, and I would think I would gain all of Thursday and I would gain all of Sunday. And I just think that that, that is going to be kind of my play long term. Um, now I say that, and I actually didn't tell you guys this, uh, Sunday we were, we were down there looking, Dustin and I were walking around and found this, uh, this gentleman who had some like old school product. I actually had bought a major deal off him like Thursday when I first walked in, he had some really, really cool stuff and some really good prices like Oh seven exquisite football boxes, Peterson, Calvin Lynch, Joe Thomas, like stuff like that. And we're walking around Sunday and not really planning to do anything. And he's like, Hey, you know, we want to buy some wax, some like unopened boxes. I'm like, absolutely. (laughs) Now, mind you, I already shipped like 80 pounds worth of product. It was like 68 pounds worth of product on Saturday back to my, back to my shop. Cause we had bought a bunch of it Thursday night. So I'm like, we don't have a whole lot of room here. But so I'm like, sure. What do you got? So he's like, you know, he, he hit this box. He's like, I can do this. I can do this. And I'm like, dude, these prices are too good to say no. So I'm just like, sure. Let's just, let's just see how this goes. Right. And we start getting it. And I bet I bought 45 boxes and I'm like, we don't got no room. So now mind you, it's like 11, it's like 1130, 1145 when this is happening. And I got to get an Uber no later than 1230 out of this hotel or I'm going to miss my flight. <laughs> so 
We take all of this stuff, throw it in this big, big box, run upstairs to the hotel room. I'm getting like stopped on the way out. I got stopped a couple times and I'm like, dude, I got to go. Hey, Clark Collector, can I be part of the coaching tree? I got to go. I got to (laughs) go. Okay. And go up to the hotel room and we're like, okay, let's see if we can get this all in our bags. And it's like realistically 26, 27 boxes. No, no shot. I mean, I'm like throwing clothes out of the way. I'm like trying to get all this in there. And finally, I'm like, I got an Uber to Target. So I, I call an Uber and it's like the Uber will be here in 14 minutes and Target's like Bro, four minutes away. I don't understand. Low, low key, hold on, Ryan, low key, like if I was an Uber driver in the tech in the state of Texas, I would like navigate my way to Dallas for these shows. Cause like <laughs> the 27 minutes for an Uber is like preposterous. Yeah, it's like hey. 14 minutes. If we don't sleep at the wheel and book the hotel at Delta, like you already did for May. We need less Ubers. Just, bro, but just Ryan was saying to, get to go to Target, and there's a real cliffhanger because I'm yeah. confused at why so like, he all of a sudden go to Target. But the Target, the Target ride is like four minutes. The Target Uber is like fourteen minutes. So I'm like, it's eleven fifty five. I order this Uber, and I'm like twelve ten. I'm like doing some math in my head. I'm like, dude, there's just no way. I'm not you're walking down Texas Interstate 17 with a bunch of <laughs> 07 seven exquisite. <laughs> so no, so I, I I get in this Uber, go to Target, and run to the back and I'm like, I can't find the, I can't find the suitcase. So end up there in like the back far corner, the opposite end of the door, of course. And I buy this mammoth suitcase for $120. <laughs> and I'm like, sp- go back to the front, check out real quick, get in the Uber. I got back in and I'm just like, throw it all in this box. Again, I'm like in a sprint. I'm like dying. And again, mind you, I did not pack super well for this. So I'm in like jeans in like a Ohio State pullover. And it's like 78 and humid. Oh, and now. you're like a little sweaty. I mean, I'm like oh, boy. dying. <laughs> and so, you're the flight ahead of you. Pure panic and anxiety. It, panic. Right? So, you know, I get back probably 1228, run upstairs, pack it all. Immediately request the Uber and I'm still packing. And it's like. Of course, the Uber is completing a ride at the convention center, and I'm not even I'm not even finished packing. So I'm throwing all this stuff in this bow, this new suitcase, and you I already had all the Uber. Be right down. Be right down. Exactly. Be right down. I mean, right I, so down. Dustin and I each have two suitcases now and a book bag. It's a hundred degrees, and I'm like just ru- running down, running down the stairs because the elevator was broke. The elevator at that time was not working. So I've got two suitcases and a bag and I mean, they're humongous and we're running down the stairs. Finally got on the Uber. It was like 1238. But again, sweating. you know, I say, don't go Sunday. And yet water. I a, it, you know, I said, don't go Sunday. And yet I made one of my bigger plays on, on Sunday, but um, That's yeah, it was an eventful day to say the least. That's amazing. You decided you're buying wax, which brought you to target to buy a suitcase. For $120. The things we do. The and I didn't even have time do. to check the cards at Target. I like, couldn't, couldn't even check the cards. <laughs> like, I couldn't check I mean, the- There's no chance there's a single box of cards in that yeah, Target. In Dallas. No chance. People the closest one at the hotel, weekend. definitely not. Um, but Baseball. Real quick. Yep, yep, yep. What I actually that? like Lou's thoughts here. I, I, I think what Lou did is super smart. I, uh, Cause I got back and did something similar about like looking ahead. Like what does may have in store? I think that can do you a lot of good if you're proactive and Hey, what's going to be the play come the may show. We talked about that on the bonus episode. Um, I came home and my, my thought thought initially was soccer. I'm just like, you know, I, I posted that picture last night. I'm like, I'm kind of in the soccer market. I don't know enough about it yet, but I, I, you know, beautiful. I, I'm intrigued. Right. But Baseball's hot now. I, I, I'm I'm excited to see football come, uh, come come the May show. I think that's like I said, right around the NFL draft. I'm intrigued by that. But um, yeah, I like Lou's thoughts about preparing for the next show now and getting an idea of what what's coming. Lou, what do you think? Um, f- football. Uh, like look, to me, look. <laughs> number one, I would not take our word as gospel. We're a long way away from May. Number two. Uh, um, kind of dumb, but like these, like when you, when you, when we say like, what's going to be the newest, the biggest thing at the next show, it's pretty basic. It's like what, like narratively, what makes the most sense for people to be fired up about it at the, at the upcoming show. It mm-hmm. has, and 
you're just looking at the calendar and you're saying to yourself, all right, baseball's a month in. Regardless how you feel about baseball, it'll probably be slowed down by May. Basketball is uh, where is basketball going to be on the calendar at that point? So on Play basketball, out. I want to yeah, it, that's that 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 is what we're talking about here. Um, but what? we need to co- we need to correct something real quick because we talked about it on the last show. This year they're going to the um, playoff plan. Oh, are they? Yep. Interesting. The playing cool. tournament is May twenty eighth through twenty first. So the top six teams are auto. So that in. tournament's going to be while we're in Dallas. No, I think it's the week before, right? No, Let's May see. 20th is Dallas. I thought he said oh, it's May 20th. We're literally going to be watching Luca drop 35 in game winners and watching his base go to 18-12. So you said the – hold on, Todd. The, the plan tournament – 23rd is Dallas. 20th to tw- May 20th yeah, to 23rd. And then the plan tournament is the 20th and 21st? Is the 18th to the 21st. Yeah. yeah. So Interesting. the lobby cool. bar is going to be lit. Luca is going to be – Taking heads in the play-in tournament, Michael Porter Jr. is going to be, you know, already there, and there's going to be a lot of Zion. Zion, be on the lookout for my man Zion. Um, but yeah, so I, I think that so then basketball will probably be interesting as well for those like, what are the seeds for the play-in tournament? Do we know? It's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or yeah. sorry, seven, eight, nine, ten of both. Uh, I, seven, don't eight, nine, the, ten. I don't know how the play in tournament is structured, though. But it's oh, seven, you know eight, what, nine, ten. You know what else is crazy? Yeah. Oh. That May show would be two months from the national. Yeah, I, I know. mean we've got January, boop, 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 and it's two a month months. after the draft. The NFL draft is the month before. It's the the April 29th, I think. Oh, see, I thought it was in May. Me too. Yeah, they cha- remember they changed it to April because that first they do that like prime time mm-hmm. thing. So yeah, this is. I mean, May it looks like it could be a massive, show, uh, massive show. Then you're a month into baseball, NBA playoffs are on. You already know where people are getting drafted. So Trevor Lawrence, all that kind of stuff. Those guys are all going to have cards out. Prism draft picks, Leaf Metal draft. You would assume some sort of other product will be out where Trevor Lawrence has cards. Likely select XRCs. I know Lou has been a fan of those. Um, Big fan. So you, have, you have all of that, and then you're two months away from the national. Crazy, and bro. you got Champions League finals in May. The official date is not out, but it, if it's right around there, and then Champions League finals in May, Euro Cup starts June 11th. Footies bro, the you. Patriots are pissing me off. Aren't they making bad plays? They're just signing every. They just signed another tight end. Just, I mean, anyway, they're just signing dudes. I mean, nothing like you know, not ju- they're signing ju- like every ju- real player available in free agency. Yeah. Um, baseball. Yep. Let's talk about it for a second. Let's do it. I was looking to pick something up. I was in the trout market. You kind of schooled me on one or two things. Talk to me yep. about about trout for a second. You know, we we talked Ryan briefly, kind of Sunday morning. Trout. They're looking like they have a good team. Maybe his best team he's played on going into this year. Is I think they're going to. I think. I think there's truth to that. They're. They always find a way to mess it up. Um, if you ask an Angels fan, that's what they would say. They always find a way to make it, make it, make it a problem. It boggles the mind that they have the best player of all time on their team, and they don't. They. They're just not good. It's. It's fascinating, and it kind of speaks to some of the issues with baseball, right? <clears throat> like. You can have literally the best player of all time in your team, and you can't make the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, I, I think they got a shot. One of the things about baseball is because the season is so long, there, there's going to be peaks and valleys within uh, within the season, right? So I feel good about Trout as a play. The other thing I wanted to mention, and I always forget to mention it, I don't know why it is. I think it's because he was a Red Sox, and I hate the Red Sox so much. Oh, Mark uh, I got it. I hate that guy. No, I was talking about Kevin Millar. No, I'm kidding. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh Mookie. Mookie Mookie's a god. He's a beast. And now he's on the Dodgers and like they won the World Series. And I, I think he has a chance here to like really make an argument against Trout because his numbers are out of control as well. Uh they've been out of control for the last several years. And if they're gonna go back to back, like they're the Dodgers are probably the best team in the in the MLB. So uh yeah, I, I want to. I want to put Trout, about, uh, Mookie out there as well on the same, not on the same level as Trout, but like one step below. 
Love it. Can we talk about Trout's best friend? The 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 phenom pitcher duel pitcher hitter. Otani. Otani. Sure. What's the deal? I feel like he's got juice. The deal is that he has injury problems. Um and he had Tommy J, right? I don't think he had Tommy John. This is where I get in trouble. I don't know. I don't know what injuries. Yeah, he's he's been looking good. Uh, but yeah, like it's crazy. To I think they were talking about making him pick one. I mean, he's still doing both right now, though, right? I believe so. He had Tommy John in 2018. He did have Mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Does he have a Bowman Chrome both on the rubber? And in the batter's box, it was weird for him because he didn't really play in the minors. So, like, he kind of came over and started playing, you know, mm-hmm. like in the mm-hmm. majors. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, I think he has a Bowman Chrome, but technically, the tops is like the only card that matters. Twenty eighteen tops Chrome, him at the plate. Yeah, I just don't. I, you know what? I really don't like. There's a pitching one as well. I really don't like tops Chrome. Yep, I'm seeing it here. Let me do a little quick share screen, just a little. Real quick while we're here. I know people like my man, Otani. Um, I don't love when – I don't love this Topps Chrome design, personally. It changes every year. I know, but the, the – the maybe – yeah, it was the 2018 action because I, this is footy, too. I don't love this, like, little, like, this little thing in the jig. See, I actually like that. Really? Because look at, like – go look at, like, 2020. Well, that's stuff with down the down the left side. It just gets it just gets too busy for me. Yeah, I agree. I I, I agree. But so Otani, you're saying the oh, pitching wait, is a big one. Yeah, tops Chrome, but people don't like pitchers generally, right? Not well, he does high. both. I know. So do you want him in the batter's box, or do you want to get both? Put them next. To I each think other the pitching one is the better. Of the, as a bundle. I think <laughs> I think the pitching is the better of the two. So that for me, that's what I would pick. Understood. Cool. Appreciate the appreciate the knowledge. Appreciate the insight. Might have to make a play. Make a play. His Bowman uh, autos are like very very cheap. Like there's a nine five, <clears throat> just for context, a nine five of his auto uh, pitching is it's a uh, min gem plus. It looks like mm-hmm. um, it's sitting at twelve fifty. So Might they're have- available. I have to make a play. I sold an auto of him last night on eBay, and I remember it doing pretty well. It was from like tier one. Mm-hmm. It was out of ten, sold for one ninety. What does that mean from tier one? It, it's a product. A pro tier one is a product. Yeah, tier one is a product. But made by who? Tops. Tops tier one. Mm-hmm. It's it's not Topps Chrome or Bowman per se or no it's more of like a it's, its own standalone. It's product. like one of those museum things or whatever. Yeah, museum <laughs> Inception, uh, five star something like similar to that. There's not a ton of cards in it. What's that like one of one or one? What's that product? Panini called? One Football Panini or Panini one? Basketball? Similar type of thing. Uh, no, that's an encase. That's one card in a magnetic seal. That's like Topps Dynasty baseball. Where it's one card sealed and you have massive potential. Got you. This is just kind of a one-off different product. Yeah. Got you. Does is there any form of like one of my favorite things, Chronicles, <laughs> where they kind of put a bunch of different stuff in there, or at least that's what they do with soccer. Is there a form For of that? Baseball. For no. baseball. No. Because that is pretty sweet. It's because they put out so many products like there's never an opportunity where you're going to miss a rookie like every rookie that comes up yeah. is in every product pretty much is that kind of what chronicles is for to like ca- as like a catch-all for people that are have missed this the rookie cycles so chronicles was a way for them to like what started out as was making like football products like making a football product of like b- basketball type cards. So like you had like titanium mm-hmm. or like th- a lot of the products they made in basketball that weren't football products. They, they, ran kinda... them in this, they ran them in Chronicles. So you got the basketball type cards of football players. And then it allows you to, I think it's kind of a test thing. Again, I it's almost like an incubator, like cr- check the demand, see if people exactly. like and then drop the yeah, product. I would love to ask Panini if that's what it was intended for, but it's like you throw out like, Hey, you throw out a football a, a, an auto of Joe Burrow and all of these products and see which ones do well and then make that product in the future. Like Chronicles is coming out here soon. Yeah. This is the footy Chronicles. 
And what they did is they did like La Liga Serie A Premier League. And they mentioned now that they're dropping uh, Mosaic La Liga and Serie A, I believe. And I think they mentioned that it was like these proved demand because this is the, the box. But even in the hangers, they would do them one off. And so I think that was kind of to your point. It's like incubator test ground product. I like that. All right. So before we move on, Ty, I think it's worth noting before we get into play of the week, we're by the time this episode drops, we'll be a week away from Car Talk Live. Yes. One week. Uh, you want to give any more inside scoops, any uh, more hints, yeah. or any more yeah, details yeah, yeah, yeah. on that? Yeah. We, uh, We've been working hard. We've been working really hard. We've been working closely with eBay, all of our friends and relationships um, to get this thing going and get it off the ground. Next Wednesday, you're going to hear this in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening or later. But if you're listening to this on Wednesday, one week from today, we're probably going to drop an episode in the morning and then go live at night based on our schedule. But the uh, Wednesday evening, 1.37 p.m. Pacific, 4.37 p.m. Eastern Time, us three will be hosting a live marathon card show. And by card show, I mean card talk, but live. We're not going to be slanging nothing per se. Um, we will have all of our dear friends. Most faces that have been on here in the past are making an appearance. Um, we are going to be doing some pack wars with different notable individuals that, that you know. We'll be doing some product giveaways. Uh, we'll be doing some highlighting certain auctions and pieces that are up on eBay and talk some historical stuff. We'll be doing some Q&A, fan-based Q&A. We'll do education information sessions right up Ryan's alley, Luke and Dabble. I'll just help you know, in, incite curiosity. Um, we've got Adam Lefko, our boy, the man himself, hosting an 86 Fleer panel, which is going to be pretty sweet. Um I'm recording this one live, but you might get hit with the mid roll right after this that tells you about Card Talk Live. And you might just get doubled up on Card Talk Live. Um, what are your thoughts? What are your questions, Lou, Ryan? Um, my questions are <clears throat> when are we going to announce the full list? That was 100% my question. We got to let the people know. I we mean, do got to let the people know. Soon. I'm excited because I know who's on the list. And I'm like, you're telling me who we get to talk to and have, you know, full conversations with. Specifically, who are, we op- who are we opening with? That's going to be a good time. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, Pack yes. Wars. What packs are we opening? That we actually. probably need to get right, the product like now. Oh, seven 07 <laughs> Exquisite that you bought last <laughs> <laughs> you we will exclusively target. be opening 2007 exquisite football yeah, for Pat. Yeah, we to figure that out now that I think about it, actually. Uh, no, actually, no, we're really not. Jason. We absolutely <laughs> <laughs> Jason, we got to uh, talk about that today. Um, we need product for next week's live. So uh, just make a note there. Um, Cassius Marsh will be stopping by. We got Buster on there. Uh, Leon Hart talking a little poke, poke. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Um, that's what we got for now. That's what we got for now. Stay Jackson tuned. Hayes, you saw that dunk Jackson Hayes did over uh, what's his name, Reggie Jackson. Well, that was be, tough. He'll be talking about it. Jackson Ryan's Hayes gonna ask key. him the tough questions. Ryan's gonna ask him the tough questions. Ryan's gonna really dig into his past, dig into his upbringing, <laughs> dig into his game. Jackson Hayes low key goes on like Instagram lives for like breaks and stuff, like all the regular. That's amazing. People don't know that. I love it. That's, All right, so stay great. tuned. More Car Talk Live details coming soon. Make sure you guys check out the Instagram or the Twitter account. If you've got Talk. a question, tweet us at Car Talk Pod. What the hell is Car Talk Live? We'll respond. Cool. Maybe. All right, so it's everybody's favorite favorite segment. We're going to get into Play of the Week. Again, Play of the Week is brought to you by eBay, your number one spot for cards <laughs> and collectibles. All right, so if you're new here, this is where I love play of the week. It's play great. of the week has it's become fun. a massive hit for us. It's essentially where you guys, the listeners submit your play of the week. And Jason, one of the producers gets them together, picks the winner or picks the ones he likes. And then we get to talk about them and debate them live on the show without having reviewing any of them prior to this. We have no prior knowledge to anything that has been submitted. I want to make a note that, 
this is now a weekly segment for for the listeners. They asked. We got into the lab. We said, what we do, do we got to do to make this weekly? People. We did. We moved a lot. We, I mean, there was a lot that had to happen. And so we are here now and we are weekly. And it's for y'all. All right. So Jay says, coming in hot with slide one. Oh, Jay also loves to overplay. Like the, I couldn't how agree amazing more. it's going to be. I could not agree let, more. Just yeah. let, me, let it bubble up a little bit. $10 to $465. Wow. Wow. All right. The new design. <clears throat> All right, so this is Slabbed87, who on December 9th purchased a lot titled 1993 Nike Aerospace Mini Poster Card Lot Times 6, Michael Jordan, Just Do It. And recently, on March 15th, sold the same lot with slightly different, uh, more catchy title for $465. Okay. (laughs) All right. Uh, I've talked about this before. One of my all-time mistakes was not buying more Space Jam during uh, Last Dance because I was convinced that there was never going to be an op- Like, Let's just go through my brain really fast. Mm-hmm. In my head, there was no opportunity where it made sense to purchase Space Jam-related cards during Space Jam because that was like a hot moment for Space Jam, mm-hmm. not considering the fact there was going to be an entire build-up to another movie and in general, cards would continue to be more popular and lebron yep. hasn't made his entrance into cards yet and he's staring down an ig with a, a dual auto space jam yeah, he's staring Jordan. down his one-on-one exclusive yeah. or something yeah i mean uh Do we know talk that, right? about a play talk about a play uh this reminds me of early car talk when ryan dropped the search filters keywords knowledge on everyone newly lots. listed lot newly listed lots people looking to move stuff and in come the players that Did is take new pictures right here i feel like he just like took the old pictures it, 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 like the <laughs> that's, that's an all-time move that's classic move. move. Classic. Respect. You don't even take it out of the out of the envelope you got it in. You know what I mean? Like you just like tape it back up, put a new label on it, and you ship it out. You just go label over the label. Yeah, <laughs> classic move. I also like he he did a little foot. You know, he's got a logo slabbed eighty seven. Yeah, I like it. So cool. I would have liked to see what was in this specifically. Um, just kind of mm-hmm. get an idea for that. But I, I mean, it's hard to deny this. If you know, it says paid. It says that, that you know that the buyer paid for it. Yeah, um, it's done. And so, they're paying shipping. I mean, right, how do you feel about shipping? Uh, I, I charge shipping on almost every item unless it's. I mean, uh, for the most part, unless it's a card I expect to do five or ten k, it's it, you're paying shipping. I also I want to agree. shout out the buyer, Mick NGU two six six zero, because he might make a play on these too. It's going to be a, them. Gonna be a big summer. You could grade them. You could wait yeah, that would see. be that would be the best if it also ends uh, up in pick and play again. I and it's so. like for 2K when Space Jam comes out and That'd it's like fire. And Slab 87 becomes the first person that made a play and then gets their <laughs> make a play status revoked. Yes. <laughs> given the, given the All buy. time. All right, Jay, what's the next one? I like it. I like it. I like the play. All right. Whoa. All right. So it's a Tony Hawk 1990 Sports Illustrated for Kids uncut sheet. And this is from the JP Bro 831. It says for making a play, I bought this 1990 SI sheet that has what's that has what's considered Tony Hawk's rookie card on it. I'm gonna do my best to carefully cut out the card and send it to PSA and hopefully get it back in at least a PSA condition. Last PSA eight sold for 1950. Hopefully it comes back in that grade or better. So Ooh. real quick, from my understanding, if you you again, I don't I'm yeah, I want to hear about this. I'm not the end all be all on this. But from my understanding, you do not want to use scissors. Yeah, you yeah, want I agree. You want like to perf them, right? I'm fairly confident if you cut it, they won't it's grade altered. it. It's considered altered. Yep. So I would not recommend doing that. I hope this episode comes out before JP Bro. I want DM JP Bro right now. I'm literally it. DMing JP Bro right now. I'm gonna make a video JP of us bro, the podcast. Don't use scissors. So please don't use scissors. I'm fairly confident you would just want to fold it where it's supposed to be folded mm-hmm. when the perforated mm-hmm. sections, mm-hmm. and then you just carefully i mean fold it well and then just carefully tear yeah. it out that oh my god he did me, double he fold. me this morning bro did he make yeah. sure he does the double fold you can't just fold one yeah, side fold and in and then right. fold back yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah 
reminds you, you know, tell him, tell JP, look, um, is that who is I'm trying to figure out though, like feels like there might be more than one play in that SA card, SI kids card sheet. It'd be great. A couple of them. Yeah. I mean, the Tony's a legend, but who else do we got there? Is that maybe Doc Gooden over there? And in my personal preference, Bjorn Becker, is that Becker? You guys, Ty, you, you guys can say differently. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tear it apart. That's what I was going to ask about these sheets. I wouldn't tear it apart because you, you're, you're saying just maybe frame it. Yeah. I just think long term, how many uncut sheets are there? Yeah. It's a little OC left, right? Yeah. So it's not an absolutely perfect, you know, centering. Again, you can't control that, but I just, I, I find it hard to believe that there's going to be a lot of those uncut sheets later if this card blows up. In my opinion, I'm not optimistic you're going to get an eight or a nine or a 10. So I'm going to keep the sheet as is rather than send it in and get a PSA five and then be upset that you don't have a sheet and you got a low grade and then you lost money. Mm. So in my opinion, I would keep it. I would keep it together. I'm aligned. What's your thoughts on this? What if Tony slapped a fresh auto on that thing? D value? D value. On the full sheet? Yeah, it doesn't do anything for me. Okay. Yeah. Jay, what's the next one? Sorry, JP, bro. All right. This is from True Moo underscore Champions of Europe 1955 to 2005 Panini 10 unopened sticker packs with Messi Rookie. And it says, My player of the week are these 2005 soccer. St- Soccer sticker packs that you can find Messi and Ronaldo rookies in for only five bucks a pack. Two thousand five. I'm looking. I want to see it. How much they do solo dolo? Ty, I'm gonna let you explain these because I'm sure Lou and I don't know anything about. I'm gonna them. be frank. I'm uh, these are these are new to me. It is Tuesday. There is Champions League on today. Chelsea Atletico tomorrow. So I'm oh excited my God. Wait, about it. What? 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 Did we just find a play? So raw ones. So the box is ten. Op- oh, he's buying packs. Okay, I understand. I thought he was buying boxes. He bought, yeah, but he bought ten um, packs. Ten packs. Yeah. So the box is six fifty bin, and it gives you fifty packs. The last card did two fifty solo. The last messy card did two fifty. Raw. I'm raw, which is interesting. There's a there's a Zlatan sticker in there that's doing ten. Adinho. The last Ronaldo did hundred and ten. Yeah, Messi's do a couple hundred. Interesting. A uh, definitely an interesting play. Not necessarily the sure thing, right? Like it, you could open all ten packs and get nobody you've ever heard of, and then be out yep. forty six dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, it's Not similar bad, to though. similar to buying the card graded, right? Where like we had that one with the Bryce Harper a couple weeks back, where you know you buy a Bryce Harper. That's supposed to be a PSA 10. You send it in. If you don't get a PSA 10, the play is kind of broke. Um, yeah. But I'm, I mean, for $5 a pack, I'm certainly intrigued. Yeah, a messy raw sticker that doesn't even look super premiumly taken care of went for 115 <laughs> on auction yesterday. Has anyone noticed that the only packs available that I can find that aren't boxes, I think just packs, are from Serbia? Yeah, I'm seeing Does only Serbian one pack. person own all of them? Potentially. That'd be amazing. It's a sneaky play. Because it definitely looks like they're all I've just never heard I've just never heard of these cars before. The stickers are a real, real, real thing. Like that messy sticker is serious. We, you know what we should do? We should buy a box and rip it live at the next Dallas show and see how many we get. I'm into it. Five fifty for a box. It's two hundred and fifty stickers. Yeah, I, I respect the. I respect so, what are the, the odds you get? One, I wonder what the odds are. You get today we'll, we'll, find out, we'll, five, we'll find out live in Dallas. What did you say, Ty? Someone bought a box for four fifteen bin. It looks like this morning. Yeah, there's one available four twenty bin right now. From so, Italy. I know that four hundred is different than forty five. He might have smashed best offer and got this for less. We're not sure. Or yep, she, true. Um, well, he said five bucks a pack. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right. I mean, uh, interesting play. There's, there's, yeah, it's there's very interesting. Play. There's a play to be had there. I don't know what the pop is if I got a little bit more time. I mean, Fabregas has a sticker in it. Yeah. Yaya Torre, 
Ronaldinho. Yeah, the nine. The Zlatan nine did a over a, a grand. Hmm, interesting. True move. I like to play. So the messy, the messy pop, uh, the tens. There's eighteen messy tens. There's forty one nines. There's twenty two eights. So less than what a hundred graded total. Hundred and six total. When are they from? Like, what? and the Ronaldo from two thousand five. The Ronaldo is pop nine for a ten, pop eighteen for a nine, pop twelve for an eight. Forty six total graded. Interesting. Wayne Rooney's in here too. Low key legend. It's People a good group. Enough. I like it alone for the inventory conversation that we've had. I think opening it and having these stickers and some nice um, hard whatever. They, I always get thrown off by all the names that people call the sleeves. Like a protector. Team Tumblr. bags. Yeah, it's like team bag, slab bag. <laughs> this is so true, cover, by the way. There's so many names favor, the same shit. Card saver 4, card saver 3.5, <laughs> photo cover. I'm like, what? Just protect it. Um, all right, cool. Jay. I see what's going on, Jay. We're, you know, the hype that you gave the segment is kind of matching where we're at right now. Keep it going. All right. So this oh. one is from Foot Poor Cards. It is a Floyd Mayweather one of one yellow tops, triple threads, event worn relic, BGS 9 5. Nominee for the player of the week. Uh, Mayweather does, does, I should say, probably does not have much outside of the Leaf products and is arguably the best boxer of our generation. Good player overpay. I will say one of the biggest regrets I've had at the Dallas show was I had the opportunity to buy a Floyd Mayweather Triple Threads one-of-one one patch auto that's not a printing plate in Dallas in uh, like November for 1500 and I wish I would have bought it. I actually thought about that the other day. So I'll start there, but Ty, Lou? Um. Two things go through my head. Yeah. I like to play because it's a legend goat. I think boxing's on the rise. I like what Floyd I Floyd walks the line of like knowing branding but rubs people, but that also kind of helps sometimes in the <laughs> boxing world. Um but I think he's gonna play the next couple of years smart because he sees where this whole boxing thing's going and and really re- has realized that influence no different than all this NFT stuff. Like pe- people are in control, and Floyd is super big and famous, but he's not as big as fam- and famous as even Logan Paul. I'd say maybe, potentially, um, or he might maybe is. Um, but he's gonna do those types of 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 fights um, to keep his name out there. I like the play as a collector. I'm indifferent about the play because I don't think it's that beautiful of a card. I don't think you get a lot of Floyd 49 and O is kind of like, is it that is he never boxing again? Auto is a little off, but overall as a, as a goat play, I like it a lot. As what I make it, I, I, I would probably say, Hmm, what else is out there in the Mayweather market? But I, I like it. Agree. If it was up to me, I would stay patient. <clears throat> and either if I was going to make a Floyd play, I'd be looking at that 97 set and I would just look for a lower grade one. I would look for like a BGS eight PSA seven PSA six to get into that $2,000 range. Um, because to me, this card is just like you're saying, Tyler, like, to me, this card is just like not it. Yeah. It's just, the triple threads, white whale, which is what they call the printing plates from triple threads. Like those are cool, but there's just a couple things about this that I agree with Tyler on. The auto's off sticker, so the auto you know for sure is not a 10. It goes off sticker twice, so it might be an 8 auto. That's not a good grade for an, a BGS, you know, a card mm-hmm. you have graded by BGS. The 9.5 is cool, but like you said, you can't even see Floyd's face because it's a printing plate. So it's a cool card, but I agree with Tyler. If I was going to make – I like the Floyd Mayweather play. I think Floyd will be relevant for a while, right? Like I, I – that always helps card values when people are relevant, right? The more attention they get, the more – notoriety they get the, the more people know them the more people want their stuff this is probably not the play i would have made for floyd i, I like where the head's at but this isn't the card i would have purchased mm-hmm. um i was going to bring something up off of the back of blue mentioning go og and go lower grade i think it's a big unlock and big conversation for a lot of people 
Ryan, and I'd like your thoughts because I know only in the last eight months do I feel like I started to be like, oh, just look at some lower grades. Like if you're interested in it and, and kind of priced out. Um, For stuff like this, it makes sense. Yeah. Or the messy Ronaldo stuff, right? Like people start chasing all these weird things versus being like, can I get the the PSA five or the PSA six of the of the card? Um, I was picking up some Sancho like Topps Chrome nines over the weekend for inventory to be able to move stuff. Right? What? Uh, can you just give some color on people that come into your shop or your customers? Kind of the demand for nines or eights comparatively to tens, and if you, you think it's worthwhile to spend time in the nine and eight market even on newer stuff and older stuff like a Zion prism nine for that matter. Yeah. I think a lot of that stuff sells well. We've talked about that a lot, right? The, the price difference is substantial, right? So, I mean, you know, a Zion prism nine, I don't know current market values. I have a feeling they're probably pretty close to 225 to 240, Whereas a 10 is six sixty to seven and a quarter, depending on the day of the week. Um, so yeah, I mean, you're talking about a third of the price, for that, that that intrigues a lot of people. You know, same thing. Mm-hmm. Like I've sold a lot of Luca Optic or Donruss nines. Like you, a lot of people would consider it. You know, the value you're gonna get on that car. Like, hey, can this be regraded? And somebody's have a bad day, and I'm gonna you know crack it and try to get a better grade. Um, do I think the value is there long term? So yeah, we sell a lot of nines. But, you know, I think the eights and the sevens and the lower grade comes into more iconic cards. Hall of Famers, proven guys, like nobody's coming in and be like, "Ooh, I can't wait to buy this John ja Morant Prism Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's like, "Oh, that's yeah. sick!" Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. that's not happening. But you know, uh, Jerry Those Rice getting graded. They're not yeah. even really getting graded for the most part. Yeah, unless you miss something, right? You still know yeah. what you're doing. It. Or it's, it's like market. one of those memes. I saw a I saw a BGS four, mm. uh, 2019 LeBron James tops uh pretty neat prison this weekend. It was awesome. It was like nine thousand cool. everything, and then like four centering because the car was like Rrr. it was hilarious. <laughs> but again, you know, it speaks to the specific card, right? Like, did you notice the Justin Herbert optic gold vinyl one hundred one is on eBay? It's a PSA seven, and mm-hmm. it's at nineteen thousand dollars. So people can't care that much about condition because that card's a PSA seven. That card's not in the greatest condition. They do when it's an option. When it's not an option, it doesn't matter. Yep. Mm-hmm. Irrelevant. Good stuff. Next. Jay, next. Mm. Barack Obama 2008 Tops Campaign SP variation. Yeah, so this SP is a banger. Mm. Super low and an awesome photo hitting a sweet fadeaway. Hard to find. Uh, hard to find, and as more people move into alternative celebrity cards, this is a, this has a ton of potential. Agreed. So, Jay, is it card. the same person? Oh no, Jay, not oh, again. Jay. Jay. Oh, Jay. Look, Jay. if you notice that little circle down there with his logo, is, if you go back one, the other guys was Jay. Different go back one immediately. Oh, go Jay, back right go now, back. Jay. Yep. See. Oh <laughs> no, Jay. <laughs> Oh man, we just spent this whole time talking about this Floyd May. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Jay, we'll get into this one, but you gotta find out who is is who. All right, right, focus up, focus up. Focus up. All, right, all, right, all right, settle up. I have faith. Jay will figure it out potentially. Um, whew. wow, yeah, this is a banger. I think this thing is beautiful. Um, like I know that there's. First thought that came to my mind was, wow, there's going to be a lot of people that hate this card <laughs> just because it says Democrat on the top. But you can't argue a president's a president, a legend's a legend. And when they're shooting the Jimmy from their private court out back in their tie because they got a quick 15 minute break and want to get some fresh air, you got to respect it. And so this is a variation. I mean, Obama's got variations. It's pretty. It's pretty dope. Yeah, the main one is him like at a I know this set very well. The main one is him at a uh at like a podium giving a speech. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there's like the super super SP version of this. Uh I'm I'm trying to find the population report. I've seen it once before. It's a banger and this car is seemingly in good condition just off the image. Yeah, the problem with these is the corners get really bad. Mm. I wish if I had one request that somehow the full ball was in the picture kind of just perturbs me a little bit, but 
I like how he's keeping his eye gaze on the ball. It's a proper shooter. You're supposed to follow the ball. So PSA doesn't even designate the SP from the regular card. Um, and it's a pop 53 in a 10. So this personally doesn't do anything for me. Does nothing for me at all. You could buy you could buy a Barack Obama signed book on eBay for five hundred dollars. I would rather save two hundred seventy five dollars and have an autograph rather than a base card of him in a you know suit and tie shooting a jumper. Just again to each his own. But if you're telling me, uh, hey, presidents, I agree. I love the idea of collecting presidents. I think that's super cool, right? You're talking about you know people that run the free world. I, I'll sure I'd love a Barack Obama sign something sign any president. Mm-hmm. I think that's super historic. The, the uh, seven hundred and seventy five dollar insert card. I un, again to each his own. Personally, doesn't do anything for me. I'm pretty sure he didn't pay seven seventy five for it. I think the card's like a four hundred dollar card typically. But yeah, interesting. I will check. All right. Well, the Obama Obama books. Uh, presidential auto- shout out to Buster. We're gonna talk about with this this with Buster on card. Yeah. Live. The presidential autographs is a fascinating marketplace. Barack, his autos are so highly sought I, sought after because typically the only ones you can get. It's a quick education. I'm gonna let Buster do it really next week, but uh, typically you cannot get a lot of Barack Obama autographs that aren't in books. Uh, pretty much everything is in a book. The really cool old stuff that people like is like presidential decrees or like some random shit like that. Declaration and of that's, independence, you know, like <laughs> yeah, some light declaration of independence. Um it's a one-on-one. So yeah. <laughs> Lou, just a heads up, this sold for seven seventy five. He sold it for seven seventy five. All the recent sales were like four something, five something. There's three sales. There's a four oh six the twenty eighth of uh, February. There was a seven or six seventy six at bids on Tuesday, March 9th, and then there was this one wow. last Sunday for seven seventy five. Interesting. All right. So we're indifferent about the play. I like the play. I like his form. But yeah, I mean, we're pretty, not sure whose yeah. it is as of right now. So yeah, 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 I mean. we're going to need to figure that out. Good thing it's probably not going to be play of the week. Well, let's take it to the next one. Next. The next one. That might be it. That was five, I think. That's yeah. it. Jay's, okay. That's it. Jay, what's up? You need a third arm? He's. <laughs> <laughs> he. <laughs> All right, Jay, can you go back through? Uh, yeah, this is this is easy. Yeah, this. Oh, is Ryan easy. loves this real life action. profit. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah, this, this is, is ten this, to ten to fifty would be five x. Yeah, this is this is what we talk. This is what I again I preach on on, uh, stump to shop like. Searching lots, newly listed, finding something before somebody else does, buying it, and then realizing the value later. And I think that's important, right? Like everyone's like, ooh, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to grade this. I'm going to get this. I'm going to sell it for this, right? Like there's so many unknowns in there. This is, you know, this is this is done, right? 10 to yeah. $465. This is, this is my play of the week for sure. I'm locked in and aligned. And again, I just, the other plays are, are, are great, but like, Jay, go through them real quick. I can point something out, like why I don't like each of them. I was thinking about this. Like Tony Hawk, right? May not get an eight, especially if he cuts it. Then it's definitely not getting an eight. <laughs> Champions, champ, the stickers, cool. I, I like the stickers, but one thing I think I think about in this is, what's to say somebody doesn't have a box of 50 packs, opens the first five, pulls a Messi and Ronaldo, and is like, well, done. Here's I'm the good. other 45. Likely not going to have one in a box. Wasn't well, that typically how it goes? People that sell could those be. Packs. Right. You know, this keeps costs down so that, you know, more people can afford 10 packs rather than a whole box. But that's just the thought that goes to mind. And the cost isn't, you're not say like $45, $46 different than $450. Understood. If you're grinding a play, but at the same time, if you, a sealed box, seemingly you can get, you're not getting, this person's not getting a discount from a sealed box for the packs based on what I'm seeing in the market. So you're probably right. Jay, go to the next one for me. So the Floyd, again, cool card. I like the idea, just probably not would have gone with this card. And then the last one, the Obama, again, cool card, just not for me. I would prefer an autograph. So for me, again, I love the plays. I'm going to go with the, the first one. I'm aligned. Oh, amazing. 
sounds like slab 87 just made a play and won a t-shirt a make a play yep. shirt but i wanted to ask you real quick ryan the titles of the two Im- impact effect feel like the guy on the right feel like the second sale feels like slab 87 really nailed that title comparatively does it change anything for you i'm not sure does it jump off just like yeah, the 93 just, Nike it, Jordan versus 93 Nike Aerospace, you don't get Jordan until the end, then you just do it. You know, this kind of feels like that, like hammered it. Boom. Yeah, the first one, again, it, they're definitely different time periods, but it's like, you know, just do it, not capitalize. I'm not sure what the heck that's in there for. Me, again, I, I don't know the details of the lot because I can't see it, but I like the, I, I'm very big on random, random capitalization. Mm-hmm. So like 1993, Nike yeah. Jordan, like how he's got capitalized Space Jam vintage Michael Jordan, because that's what stands out, right? So yeah. when you're searching for, you know, Mike Trout, 2012 Tops Rookie Auto, I'll type in Mike Trout Tops and then I'll put all caps Rookie Auto, right? Because mm-hmm. when you're scrolling through there, you're looking for Rookie Auto. And when you just see, bam, that, you know, it, it catches your attention. So I, I like the the space jam vintage Michael Jordan, all caps. I think that, I think it's a good title. I mean, like Lou said earlier, I think the picture is the exact same. That's an all time move. So that definitely, you know, helps near the top um, in terms of player of the week. But yeah, this, this is. Do you think he went to the old listing and, and hit list one like this? Yeah. I mean, that's a classic (laughs) move. But but it doesn't transfer the picture over actually. I mean, I you think if you're on the phone, you do a quick little 3D touch, you click save, bang bang, and then away you go. I mean, oh, again, he also put the the previous buyer, the pre- the guy he bought it from, and the guy that bought it from him in there. I mean, that's 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 a move. Yep, I like it. Cool. Slabbed eighty seven. Right. You made a play. Had a boy slabbed. All right, so. Again, that is Make a Play. Make a Play is brought to you by eBay, your number one spot for cards and collectibles. All right. Play of the week, baby. Last one. Little uh, release, upcoming mm-hmm. releases. Mm-hmm. Not much this week. You got Inception Baseball, and then you got Pokemon. Uh, you got some different Pokemons like Shining Fates, Mini Tin, Pokemon, Venusaur, Blastoids, VMAX Battle, Collector's Chest, and then you have a new uh, booster box. Sword and Shield Battle Styles Booster comes out this week. Uh-huh. Not super familiar with it. We'll Me either. spend some time learning it. Doesn't sound like it's a, you know, a Hidden Fates or Shining Fates or some major release like that. I mean, I know those don't have booster boxes, but um, would love any of our Pokemon listeners to comment on what their thoughts are on some of the Pokemon releasing this week. But uh, Lou, any thoughts on Inception Baseball? Um, not a ton. I have questions for you on other releases. Um, Prism Basketball. Where are we at? 331. So currently, uh, I will confirm this, but yes, 331 is currently scheduled to have Obsidian Soccer, Black Diamond Hockey, Prism Hobby Basketball, Upper Deck Artifacts Golf, Top Definitive Collection Baseball, and Select Football on one day. Select Football is on 331 now. That's what it's supposed to be. Again, I can't imagine Panini makes a major football release and a major basketball release, especially ones that are both four figures on the same day. That doesn't seem likely, but I've seen... Can't imagine they'll have trouble getting selling it out if they do. So, also Definitive Collection Baseball, that's an expensive one. That's really nice. Artifacts Golf. We've been talking about that for a while. You know, we talked about it previously on a Car Talk episode. That will be intriguing. Um, Black Diamond Hockey, Obsidian Soccer, Golf. I mean, you're gonna have every sport golf is gonna be day. that golf is gonna be big. It is gonna be big. I, agree. I really believe so. So yeah, that's that's scheduled for the end of the month. Um, some upcoming releases this month. You got Heritage Baseball coming soon, Encased Football, Opening Day Baseball, Absolute Memorabilia, Upper Deck Series Two Hockey. And then we start getting into some of the bigger releases as we transition into uh, April, where you'll have National Treasures, Origins Basketball, and then some of the first products with Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, and others. I'm going to put some out there that I've been bubbling on. I didn't make a play on baseball at the show. I'm making all fine eBay plays on baseball. I didn't make, but I was in the market. I think the NHL's new deal with Disney ESPN is is very positive for the league and i'm in the market for chris Kreider rookies huh. and i think ovechkin and crosby 
are serious plays. Bro, I was looking at an ultimate uh, – I mean, this is irrelevant. I, I was looking at an Alex Ovechkin ultimate collection auto, 9-5, and it was like two grand. Compared to like the LeBron, that's like forty grand. I was like, that's interesting. Ovi is a real guy. Crosby is a guy, super real guy, but I think Ovi. hockey guys don't like Ovi. I picked up that Crosby patch auto right after I got back from the, the Dallas show in November, and I'm I'm glad I bought it when I did. Again, I don't want a ton of them, but I think it was kind of an an yeah. intriguing play. Looks mm-hmm. like this. Yeah, it's a good play. Yeah, nice. it's a cool one. Yeah, that's you know, this was like this at the time. On card auto. Yeah, on card lo- limited logos patch auto. I paid at the time. This was less than a Zion uh, Prism Ten was going for. Again, you know, guys got multiple cups. All time legend. Look at the patch. Limited logo is huge in basketball. Mm-hmm. On card auto. Mm-hmm. I thought that was kind of a cool little play. So got that. Yeah. Throw that in my my collection, but. That is all we got for this week, next week's episode, and then Car Talk Live. See you guys then. Bye. Bye.